Now, Good you man. started at Ocean Way? I actually started at Record Plant. Oh, you did? Yeah, I worked there for a year. LA or New York? Uh, here in LA. Great. And that was in 1996. Great. Then after a year there, I'd been working there like, you know, 80 hours a week as an assistant. Sure. I was getting burned out because a lot of like late like pop sessions and some, you know, all kinds of music. Very cool to be exposed to all kinds of different music, but I wanted to work on more like rock bands and live tracking kind of thing. So Don was was doing a session there and I was the assistant and I was like just he could tell I was really into it and stuff. And he was like, he's like, man, you should go work at Ocean Way. That's where they, we track all the live bands usually. So I was like, okay, cool. Great. So luckily, a couple good words were put in and I got to go work over there for a few years. How long were you there for? Uh, about three and a half years. You know, the whole thing where you try to go freelance and then you're like, yeah, and then you're like, your phone's hey, not you. ringing. You're like, uh, hey, do you guys need any shifts? Yeah, exactly. So, you know, kind of slowly made my way out of there, but it was a great place to, to be, you know. And who did you end up working with in those three, four years that you were there? Oh man, lots of cool stuff. Uh, like Red Hot Chili Peppers was one of the great sessions that I worked on with Jim Scott and myself and uh, another assistant, John Sorensen, were, were covering. We had two rooms going and uh, Jim had another commitment so he had to go lead the session and he told Rick Rubin who was producing, he's like, these guys can cover, you know, they can finish the record. So we got to get our first engineering credits on that record, so that kind of helped. That That's was, amazing. That was a nice little, yeah, first credit to have. That was Californication. I remember that album yeah. well. Yeah, good record. It was a fantastic album. So you, you Californication, um, mm -hmm. and so that was the first that major engineering credit? What happened yeah. there? How did that sort of spark off to where you're at now? Um, well, again, that, like you get all excited. You're like, ah, I have an engineering credit. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know. My life um, is gonna change. Yeah, well actually, <laughs> I'd also, Around that time, maybe it might have been a year before, um, I uh, had become friends with uh, with E from the band The Eels. Great, incredibly and, uh, talented. Yeah, and we, uh, uh, my roommate at the time was John Bryan, very well-known producer, and uh, he brought me along to an Eels session, and this is right, this is right when I kind of had moved to LA and I didn't really know anybody, and he brought me along to a session and we got along and had a, had a lot of fun, and E just, you know, kind of started inviting me back to work with him, and um, so that second Eels record, Electroshock Blues, um, I got to do some tracking and mixing on that. Um, so those were kind of my first couple credits, and then, you know, I would just work in someone's garage, you know, do any, anything. I decided, like, okay, whatever it is, I don't care. I'm not going to say no to any kind of work. So, you know, I just try to build, uh, you know, on your experience and, and that momentum. I think, like, and I tell people this, I'm like, no matter what you're doing, if it's not the thing that you are like, you know, that you envision yourself doing, but it is, it's, it's the thing that you do, just keep doing it because that momentum somehow pushes you forward. 